Hey guys, how are you today? Uh, last time we made this drawing and one rule of fit dimensions would help us the fix uh, the dimensions which are not centered and are displaced like that. So if I will run the rule, it will fix our drawing in all sheets which we have in our iLogic geometry. Today I will um, fix the other problem which we had and that's overlapping the views if we change our, our shape of our assembly. So first thing which I will do is again add new rule which will be called for example fit views into our sheet that's fit view and we will check what's there in the api we have there the multiple multiple commands which can help us really important are are these one view set center view from corner and a spacing to other view that's a three commands I will use today only only those two which do really simple thing we take the view and the active sheet and a set spacing from the sheet corner there is the multiple sheet corners is the top left top right or bottom left but right and it's really good because it helps us to take the view and for example from the top right corner it take this distance and push our view to this side or we can take this view and push it from the top left corner to this position it's, it's really good second command spacing between the views is if we put the view with this name uh, into this um, this uh, argument of the method and also other uh, the second view that that's this one and put there the displacement between them it will automatically put it between each other with some spacing without overlapping so let's let's fix our our views and our drawing because we have there a multiple sheets I will ask this drawing and ask for the sheet with the argument of the sheet name and the sheet name is in our sample the sheet 1 and the sheet 2 so sheet 1 and then I will ask for the sheet 2 it will be oh I can't catch this so it will be assigned to the dimension with the name a sheet and one sheet will be sheet one and a sheet two so we are asking for the two sheets also we will use the displacement I will put the uh, distance X which will be 15 and a distance Y which will be also the 15 units and because our sheet two is a little bit smaller I will change uh, this distance a little bit smaller. Now I need to know the names of our views. I will save this rule and ask uh, on the, our naming. So this view is called the view one. I will call it 11 because it's the first sheet and the first view. That's 11. One one. This will be the first sheet and the second view. This is the first sheet and the third view, and the first sheet and the fourth view. So like that, and we can do the same for the second sheet. I think uh, I did that. So twenty one, twenty two. The second sheet, the second view. Second sheet and the third view and a 24 that's good so it's picks and we can also start editing our views how I said we will use uh, those commands uh, set from the corner 
we need that two times and then we need the two times uh, spacing between the views. I will change this because this will be our sheet one and there will be the view 11 and view 12 because it's the first sheet and a second view. There will be the first sheet and a third view and a first sheet and a fourth view and there will be the displacement from the view two. I cannot, yeah, that's it. So we can continue. The first view is from the top, uh, top right corner, top right. The second view is a top left, that's, that's good. And the spacing between there can be the distance x because this is the horizontal and there will be the distance y because it's vertical. Oh, This distance will be also passed as this argument of this method. And we can try to execute this rule. Oh, what's going on? There is a no drawing name on two. Oh, I put there a mistake. It's a first sheet and a and a second view. Save and save and run. Oh, <laughs> I see. I have there a several mistake because this is on the wrong di wrong direction. Let's fix that. That was distance y. It needs to be negative. We need to push it down. That's good. And it's uh, too much on the top left. So this can be multiplied by a three and for example, multiplied by two and a half. Save, save and run. It looks much better. And also, we can multiply this to one and a half. That's good. That's good. Save, save and run. Oh, it looks it looks nice. And put there the same thing for for our sheet number two. I'll just a little change there because we are on the second sheet, we need to put her in the second safe. Just a close, open up the second sheet, make some displacement there. And now I can fit the views. It looks perfect. Absolutely. I will save that. Yes to all. Yes, save. And we can try, for example, change our our iLogic assembly to maximum size. Look to our drawing. We see some overlaps. And if I will fit the views, it works. Run rule. Yep. And it fits our dimensions also. It looks cool. I think it looks cool. Yeah, perfectly. And also let's extend our form with the new rule which we add and that's the fit of use. And put the white space. So now I have the, the menu with the two button fixed dimensions and the fit of views. If I will change the, the assembly, if I change size of and parameters, our model, I can just update geometry, fixed dimensions and a fit of views and I can print this document and we can start 
manufacturing this part. Simple like that. I hope you are, you are not really fazed by the length of this video. I hope I'm not, not so much boring. If you want to know something, uh, what can help you with your project, let me know about that and I can put it into the next video. Stay tuned and have a nice day.